he has taken place. you to the outskirts of a town called Dampwood. Um, you can see a few um, wooden ha like wooden huts uh, and one significantly larger, nicer house. Um, you can also see, although you can't on this board, you can also see the rest of uh, Dampwood off in the distance, but I haven't made it yet. I'm probably going to make it on a different board so that I don't overload it. Um, okay. This is a very good setup, by the way. Thank you. I, I'm very, very happy happy about it. I found a, um, a swamp uh, board and I copied a little bit of it and then like added onto it and changed it. And it looks really good. I'm very happy it with looks, it. It looks amazing. Mm. I'm just going to keep stepping on Fifi. Stop <laughs> stepping on Fifi? Why? I hope that there's um, a mod you... where it like, makes it so you can't step on people. Because I feel like that's what they should There do. probably is. But yeah, that seems like a mod that would be quite useful. I think I'll get that mod. Um... As you come towards Dampwood, you go from generally like quite nice dry forest to very gwodgy, muddy land. Um, and you're a little bit surprised that out of all the places you've been to, this is where someone's decided to build a town. Yeah. I guess they are frog people. But That's so far, true. This is the only frog person. I don't know if we want to start mm. making assumptions. <laughs> Scrogle um, might be an elf. We don't know. Actually, I was supposed to add a couple of non frog people to here, but I totally forgot. I'm going to add a human. Oh, okay. Right over here. Ooh, a human. How oriental. A human. How a human. exotic. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a human before. <laughs> I've seen human skeletons. I I don't think we have seen a human before, have we? Uh, <laughs> hey, Faye! Oh, God. Ah, I'm fine. There you go. You're safe. That would not have happened. Um, so behind you, there's actually, like, although you cannot see it, um, a path which goes from, like, wooded to gross swampy like swamp path i think it's a very lovely gross swamp path thank you kindly me too i suggest I you go, make it next ah time thank though, you we so work we work, we work hard world. maintaining it huh uh i was just saying i suggest you make it next time so we don't fall off the end of the world <laughs> I, I think you mentioned you didn't want to overload the world that's true Boop. yeah i'm i'm not uh, i mean i'm sure felix will correct me but whilst creating this, I wasn't entirely sure, like, because there's a lot of different <laughs> blocks that I've put in this one. It looks um, amazing. You did an awesome job. Yeah, I didn't want to, like, risk overloading it. Um, it's I mean, a very lovely swamp path. It is possible to overload it, but with what they use to make this system, it's like overloading, like trying to overload Minecraft, for example. But also, doesn't this look good? I love all of the swamp stuff. It looks so cool. Look, there's actually fish in there. It looks amazing. It looks Ooh, so good. Oh, let's see so the fish. With it. In this little see pond, the... there's actual fish. Ooh, you can see them in there. fishies. And the little cattail things. Can you see the fish That's on the stream, awesome. Chai? Hold on, I'm trying to get them there. Oh, Oh, there's a puffer fish in here. Okay, man, let's, uh, we'll a just wait until right over here. are native to swamplands. I just what is put it in cool-looking fish. I don't actually maybe, know. Maybe they are to these swamplands. You don't know. <laughs> that is a tropical It's not a puffer fish. It's a, um, it's called a fantasy fish. <laughs> they puff up real big when they're scared. Yep. But it's not a puffer fish. Yeah. They're poisonous too if you eat the wrong parts, but you know, it's not a puppet fish. Um, yeah, so this frog person leads you through the uh through the swamp land. 
uh, as he approaches the edge of the swamp, he said, uh, it might get a little bit sticky from here, uh, from here on out, so, uh, don't say I didn't warn you. Step um, on you. Don't step on me. Yeah, the... No. As you get to this, um, this wooden boardwalk, the frog, uh, the frogman says, um, we do intend to, uh, to make it so the whole of our, no. uh, so the whole of the town is uh, p- paved, but unfortunately uh, we're a bit low on funds at the moment, um, so we've had a bit of a difficult time doing that. This is pretty much all we've been able to do. Uh, the frog takes you through the swamp over the um, the little wooden boardwalk that they've made and leads you up to this other frog person. Um, and he Hello. says to them... Um, hey, we need to speak to Skrong- uh, to Skrongel. Uh, could you summon him, please? It's, uh, it's urgent. And the frog it's person, husband. the frog person turns to Nepezi and says, Oh, uh, of course, for, for, Skrongel, for Skrongel's new husband, of course, of, of course I'll summon him. Anything for you. Um, and he walks up to the end of the... Uh, the wooden path which goes out into the swamp and he takes the little wooden uh, staff that he's got and he bangs it on the boardwalk Um, and he says Lord Skrongus Lord Um... (laughs) oh my gosh sorry I had a speech and I've forgotten it he goes Lord Skrongle, protector of our town, giver of food, lo- uh, loved by all, please show yourself now. I'm going to lean over to Nepezi and say, he's, he's got like this whole bit, don't he? Yeah, I thought he was just some dude. Yeah, he's more dramatic than you are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, I'm not that dramatic. Um, and you then literally out of burned the water, town down. You, That's how you, should there have been burned. You, um, the floor starts to rumble, and then out of the water uh, lifts up a huge uh, f- monster. Um, he's like a mute. It, it's as if one of these frog people had been fed one of Fifi's hairs. That's what you'd expect it to turn into. Oh. <laughs> um, That's sure of my up. recording, but damn. He lifts up uh, through the water. Uh, tentacles first lifts himself up. Uh, and then sta- uh, pulls himself to his full height in front of you. Um, and he says to this frogman... Um, what do you need from Lord Skrongol? And the the frogman says, um, uh, "Your your husband is is here to talk to you, sir." And he like proper he like proper bows down and steps back, um, allowing you three to talk to him. Uh, Pessy, your time to shine. Uh... I, I I bow. Uh, as you bow, Skrungle uh, kind of chuckles and he goes, Oh, my love, you need not bow. Uh, oh, I wasn't I wasn't sure of the the, the cultural faux pas. Uh, seeing as how we don't know each other and I was drunk yesterday. And I have a lot of questions for you. Um, again, he kind of chuckles and goes, oh, I was drunk also. Uh, but you knew about this wedding. I didn't know about this wedding. Why did you choose uh, me we, to marry? I have known about this wedding for a while. Uh, it, it was always meant to be. I understand that. But why did you have to marry me? In in order to protect your town, of course. 
do you not uh, do you not remember anything from our conversations last night? Not a thing. Oh my dear! And he like reaches out a tentacle and like brushes your hair back. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. And I, I saw his cynical <laughs> way. Nope, we don't do that. We don't do that. <laughs> ah, you are, uh, you're a lot less, uh, physical now that you're not drunk. I, uh, honestly, I was a little surprised to find you gone from our marital bed this morning. But I, um, I fear, I feel I may understand why now. And the Pezzy throws up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he he looks a little he he sort of looks at the water where you sorry did you throw up in the water or did you throw up on the walkway I, I threw up in my mouth a little bit spilled out of my mouth and it's probably like dribbling down my, my chin <laughs> but um at the thought of him touching me and us being in the same bed together makes, <laughs> makes me very sick I deep water um, and wash some of that sick off of his face Uh, he he like raises what you presume to be an eyebrow. <laughs> Where is uh, it? <laughs> sorry about that. I had some bad <laughs> beans earlier. Which and it has nothing to do ah, with you. At our at our wedding reception, yes, I uh, I also had a few complaints about the beans. Yeah, but if you could just run through the events of last night I guess or the events leading up to it more the priestess said that you had the temple booked for a wedding for months yes yes that's right I uh I saw you in a vision and I knew what was going to happen so I booked it then just in case I knew you would want no other place than your father's temple to get married in but <laughs> so you I've, know I'm me just... from your <laughs> dreams <laughs> behind the pezzy i'm just gonna do like the across the throat nope don't mention that don't mention that <laughs> frog hemoth over there wait are you making yes. that are you making the symbol towards the the frog demon or me the frog demon i'm like no nope, oh, about... sensitive topic <laughs> yeah, I know. The Pezzy is trying not to blow up. Oh my god, he's trying his hardest. Oh, okay, so you said that you married me for the protection of Safwood. We already yes. had protection you, from Safwood. You asked. And this marriage, this marriage is actually getting in the way of the protection. I I don't see how our marriage would get well, in the way of that. Well, it's uh, like the ring I used was an anklet that we borrowed from somebody so that they could borrow a book from the wizard that was protecting our town using towers. And now that we don't have the book, we need the ring to get the book back so that we can give it to the wizard and... I can't do that if it's the wedding ring and we're married. So, so we have to stop being married. We don't unless, need to stop unless being married. Unless you can married. convince me that your protection is way better than the wizard's protection. Because the only thing we know about the wizard protection is that it was unsanctioned by us. We did not give the wizard pr- approval to protect our town. And, you, he, and he's using some dumb towers. But also, the wizard so, doesn't involve protection. Doesn't involve hentai. So, I mean, six of one. He sort of he like flicks a tentacle at you, bonehead. Kind, kind of, of like, like, oh, you. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, if you could give us a better pitch on to why your protection of the town is way better than the wizard's, then we don't even have to worry about all of that. Well, we do have to worry about the wizard <laughs> trying to fight us. For not having his yeah. book. Well, uh, I mean, he, he kind we of, have the book. He puts a tentacle to his chin like he's thinking. And he goes, well, I can't say that my protection is better than the wizard's. But I can say that two, two different sorts of protection are better than one. I'm sure you understand this. 
I, I that is a solid argument, but why does your protection require you marrying me? Not that it's not an honor to be married to such a strong, powerful lord. I mean, <laughs> he blushes. Um, he said, "Well." When those uh, never gnomes attacked our town, I was able to fight off almost the entire horde by myself using my, uh, you know, superior fighting. Um, the wizards, from what you've told, from what you've told me, is a more preventative measure. I get, I fight them once they're here. Well, we do the. I mean, that uh, doesn't answer my fighter. question. That doesn't answer my question. Um, again, what is your marriage to me? Mean I we get protection. How? Why do? Why do we have to get married? Is marriage absolutely necessary, or did you just want to marry somebody? It's just so it could be written in contract. That was my terms. Why did you want to marry someone? I didn't necessarily want to, but I saw it in a vision, and I knew it had to come to pass. Well, you can't why... go against fate, you know. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Fate, well, you, you just you're can't. Well, I mean... I, I don't really understand that. I mean... Can't if we don't have any sort of choice in the matter. What does it matter that we try and survive? You were always meant to try. That's fate. That's yeah, part but if of it. you're doomed to fail, then what's the point? Who said you were doomed to fail? Well, fate, according to you. I mean, if people are inevitably going to succeed and people are inevitably going to fail because of fate, why bother trying anything if you know you're either going to win or lose? That would yeah, be boring. I'd rather, I'd rather spend my days doing something I yeah. want to do if I already know the if, outcome. If you spend your days doing things you want to do, then that is fate, I suppose. Well, I believe it to be fate that you... G- got married, but now we're going to give us the ring back so we can get the book back. I'm not sure if I want to give you this ring. What does it he matter like, if held, it's he holds it. up the uh, He holds up the tentacle and looks at it and goes, it's so pretty. Well, that's that's fine. We, it's, we do want this protection, and it's not that we want to take the ring from you completely. We'll, we will definitely get you another ring. The ring is just getting in the way of making sure the wizard doesn't kill us. Yeah, actually, we have a whole bunch of shiny shit that we can make a massive... We can make a whole bracelet out of out of things for you if you like it. That would be acceptable. Um, I expect only the best from uh, my Nepezi. And again, <laughs> he, like, reaches out a tentacle towards don't, you. Still don't do that. Still don't do that. I, I, don't, I understand that you're trying to help us. I really do. And I love that so much. However, you do have to realize you don't know me and I don't know you. And I'm, I don't really think this is legally consummated. Well, at least in this plane of existence. I guess that's my only saving grace. But Oh, it was consummated all right. And he winks. <laughs> 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 Beefy laughs from like behind some trees. Anyway, (laughs) anyway, um, (laughs) how do you know me, other than the dream? How did you know where to find me? How did you? How do you know my father? How did you get? You told me about him. I didn't get all of it from a dream. I knew I would be marrying somebody. I saw that in a vision. And the rest of it, you were quite, in? you were quite open about it when we were talking last night. But how did you choose me? How did you choose that I was going to be the person you married? Uh, well, you came to me asking for my protection. Um, I said, if you marry me, I will protect you, and then that was that. 
last night this all happened last night so i just randomly came up to you asking you for your protection in yes i don't know what you were doing before that of course was i carrying a bag of bones that looks a lot you were like indeed me carrying a, ba- a bag of bones yes you were quite protective of it one of our dogs tried to eat uh one of the bones and you got very angry it was uh it was impressive to watch. Oh, thank One you of very the things much, that made me like you so much. Oh boy. Um, I turn to Bonehead and I say, um, well, I, I, I guess more like a whisper, like, um, I think, I think we have to go back to the tavern. I feel like this all started back at the tavern. Because ever, nothing happened until I randomly woke up from being passed out drunk took you in your while you were in your hr meeting um and started going on a weird rampage not even a rampage this is a very violent it's just weird yeah this is like the opposite of your normal rampages i turn back to him and i say hey um, I understand I told you about my father, but you had this but you had a vision that you were marrying someone months before I came to you asking you for marriage, but you said that you chose that temple months ago specifically because it would be at my father's temple. Was that just a coincidence because you didn't know me yet and you wouldn't have known who my father was? Or I, I believe it was a coincidence. But of course, can there's I no such see thing, if he's really. Lying? Yeah, sure. You can roll to see if he's lying. Okay. That's insight, right? Yeah. Can I also roll an insight check on the guy who's standing behind us, listening to all of this go down? Why is yeah, my sure. wisdom so bad? Seven. <laughs> I want to pick up if there's Wait, something he um, knows that the others don't. Right, no, that's that's cocked. I did. How how do you digitally cock a dice? Why was that? That means someone had to code the ability for this three D <laughs> dice to be cocked. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Because I I looked at it and it gave me the numbers, but I saw that two numbers were flashing. So like, oh, I didn't know it could do that. It, it was actually fifteen. It to be cocked. Um, 15. Uh, with a 15, um, he is basically telling the truth, but you still kind of feel like he might be hiding something from you. I rolled a 9, by the way, on the guy behind us. Uh, what were you trying to find out for the guy behind, uh, the guy behind you? I also, where the heck is Fifi on gone? Oh, Fifi's hiding. He's, oh, he's wandered off. Of water and he just, like, hid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Don't sorry, what were you trying to find out about the frog? I wanted to see if he was in on it, or if he was just, like, doing his job. Oh, he's I just rolled doing a nine. his job. Oh, okay. I'm going to lean into Nepezi and say, um, I think there's something fishy about this and the wizard and the guy who brought me in. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, I turn back to the, um, to the guy, and, um... Damn, I must have been either possessed or really drunk. So how much how much more did I tell you about myself? Cuz I don't do that. Uh not much. You um you told me about what has been happening to your town. Uh you told me that you were looking for protection. Um you agreed to marry me. I told you the temple I was booked at. You said that that was your father's temple and you it would be a, a good spit in the face to him to get married there. And we had a good joke well, about it. That's true. No, well, okay. That, that does sound me, sound like me because it is a funny spit in his face. Um, how oh, I agree. Very, very dangerous because I'm trying not to get his attention. Um... Well, you were very drunk at the time. It would not surprise me if you uh if you were going by spite more than uh anything else. 
Yeah, that does make sense. Also um, sounds very much like you. Um, so I guess my last thing I want to touch on is thank you so much for agreeing to protect us in as f- in in with in to keep with the contract so we don't break the contract. I do not mind being contractually your husband, but you do have to understand I I cannot see you as as my husband. I I my heart belongs to someone else basically. Oh, so that is I cannot that give is that absolutely to you. fine. And that is I absolutely have, fine. And I do have my town to run, but I do like this alliance that we are building and it is greatly greatly appreciated, but I wanted to know if it was if it was okay if we were if our relationship was more of a mutual uh, alliance, we have some resources of our own and our a, a good bit of clients, I would say, um, that could offer you some services. Um, our our town is is our town is full of of. Um, I forgot the word. Prostitutes? People who can do shit. People, people who can do shit for you, um, if it's ever needed. Oh yeah, that too. That is that is very agreeable. Uh, could you perhaps come with me to the occasional family function, such as uh, weddings and uh, funerals and such? I I would love to see the look on my brother's face. When I show up to uh, uh, to a family function with somebody as beautiful as you, I can agree to that. However, does it not already cause some tension for a swamp lord to be married to a fire genasi, and not just any fire genasi, but the son of the fire elemental? That's part of the fun of it, don't you think? I'm going to lean into the press and say, I, like you. I, I think he's going through a bit of a phase right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, he, you're, I, you know what? Give us six months, the wedding's probably, he's probably going to get bored with it. Yeah, um, yeah. He kind of chuckles and he goes, most of my actions, like yours are fueled by spite of my family. 